Okay, so for my mechanics project, what I had to do is I had to use their actual lints in the movies and convert that to the real world. So this is how I did it. I looked over here, and Nemo, you may not see him, but he's like this little bitty, and then the shark's like this big. So then I measured, actually, their lints um, in this scene to determine how big the shark was. So then I got to get in my pausing position. So then here we have the shark and then the bomb. So we already know that the what the shark's length really is. So that's why we can convert and use the shark and the bomb together in comparison. But the only thing is we don't see the rest of the bomb. So then we have to pass for them maybe a couple seconds. And then um, we can convert it some more. Ready? Whenever it plays. Oh, it's playing. <laughs> Anyways, so we have the little brick right here, and we have our attention, and we have the bomb right here. But since we already know what the bomb really is, because we just did the conversion for the bomb and the shark on the other slide, we can use the bomb to the attention, and then um, the bomb to the brick. Now, <laughs> we know how big this brick is, because they were nice enough to put little um, nuts and bolts and wa washers on all, all the sides. So, it, there's three right here and there's four right here. So, um, the distance between the washers have to be consistent. Um, so, if we know the distance of this, which is straight across and nice easy to figure out, we can find out the distance across here and we can find the, the height of it too. And that's how we're able to find the volume of the brick.